All right, good morning all. Let me double check the camera. Marty's in a fit of bull five four rage and therefore unable to record. Oh, that's a good setup. Okay. All right, this morning we are at 6 a.m. It's too early to work on houses because Brentwood legal working hours don't start till uh, 7 a.m. So we're doing some MacGruber shit this morning. Definitely some MacGruber, MacGruber antics. We gotta start the day out with a coffee and a cigarette. Mandatory if you're a redneck. Anyways, our first problem we're doing today is we got a radio in a basement with a whole bunch of pipes, steel pipes, and we got bad reception because it's a basement and a radio. Now, we don't have a flathead screwdriver because, well, we don't. So, we got this electrical box that we found downstairs that's like totally illegal and Basically, we're going to burn the house down, so. Not only did I uh, find some wire we could use, I also saved the house from a fire. So you're welcome, Aunt Diana. Uh, anyways, we got these screws here. We got flatheads. We found this little clip laying around. It's all about using what you got, right? You can use this clip. Now, if that doesn't work, if you got a flathead plug, you can use the plug itself. See, these are things that city people don't think about. You millennials and you city people are so used to having everything in your little prepackaged things your little wifey gets you and you know she doesn't even know you're cheating on her with your secretary but that's neither here nor there so we even use an allen key if we have to but i don't like it because it's too skinny so that doesn't work so stuff that does and doesn't work once you get those screws up enough get these pliers and this is flathead screw this thing's rusted in and you can't you know you can't get it going so once you get these pliers, you're just going to keep squeezing. Now I'm using my right hand because my right hand is extraordinarily strong, agile, and fast from years of um, selective weight training in the gym, uh, you know. So anyways, we get this going. And once you get it kind of good, usually you can get it with your finger. This is a new work box. So um, a new work box we're taking apart. This one's kind of being punked. So I found the fastest method. Once you get that... Uh, once you get that screw um, exposed enough, you just gotta crank these, keep light pressure. It's like uh, you're milking a cow. Oh, Jesus. Okay, milking a cow. Christ, what can I get to you city people that you're gonna understand? Like, I gotta think of an analogy here of hand strength. Um, gripping hand strength that's similar to milking a cow, no up and down motion, similar to milking a cow. I think you get my innuendo. So anyways. Uh, we are cranking, we're cranking, we're cranking. This reminds me of one of my favorite movies, City Slickers. I think City Slickers 1 or 2. Um, <laughs> I was ruining jokes because I laughed because I know the punchline. You know, the City Slickers, which is so relevant here because I'm making these videos for City Slickers that wear suits all day, but they claim themselves and like work hard, play hard. You know, oh, I work hard, play hard. I go to Applebee's and like get extra extra shot in my margarita like i know a guy on an oil rig okay dude works on an oil rig they fly him out to the oil rig he works 15 days straight 12 hour days after two weeks of that he comes home with twenty thousand dollars he goes to the strip clubs buys half a kilo of cocaine and gets three four prostitutes a night for a week until he's got five thousand dollars left he puts in a savings account and he does it all over. That's work hard, play hard. Not give me, ooh, a double Long Island. Ooh, I'm so dangerous. Anyways, we got this screw up pretty good. Now, you gotta break this other one loose. And this is where we're doing the same thing. Get this busted up. And now this one is a little better. This one's not bad, so this one, if you got finger strength, you got good finger strength, you can just twist this sucker out by hand. Remember, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, guys. Ooh, it's not getting loose. Anyways, I got totally sidetracked. So in City Slickers, around the country on a cattle drive, right? It's the whole premise of the movie. And uh, I think they were, like, either at the house getting ready to leave. That's when Billy Crystal had the, um, the uh, pet. He kept Norman, his favorite cow, as a pet in the city or somewhere. And his friend, he's like, Norm! He's like... Oh, I think Norm was the name of the cow. He's like, Billy Crystal, so... He goes to Billy, he's like, hey, Billy. I don't know the character names, I really don't care. 
Um, he's like, I was trying to milk your cow Norman last night. He's like, I yanked, I pulled, I tugged, no milk came out. I did it for like an hour and a half. He's like, Tom, Norman is a bull. You were pulling on his dick. And he's like, I'm going to go wash my hands. <laughs> Those one-liners, man. That's what makes a good movie, good classic comedy movie, like a great classic comedy movie. Now, if you keep your finger on that um, retaining nut that keeps your screws from falling out in manufacturing insulation, make your life easier. And once you get a good technique, you can just spin this guy. Now, these, this one I got it loose enough. I can loosen it right with my fingers. So once you get it loose enough, loosen it with your fingers. Um, it's just whatever method you prefer, whatever stuff you got lying around. See, most people just see a, bunch, a pile of garbage. I see tools that are used. You don't have to use tools for their specific purposes. Any pharmaceutical reps out there, I know these pharmaceutical reps. Like, first of all, pharmaceutical reps, like, why do you guys wear your skinny suits, your Brooks Brothers skinny, uh, skinny suits? that like Aaron Paul sets the trend for like two years ago and you go out there and want to be Aaron Paul because you watch an episode of Breaking Bad or you read the Wikipedia page so you can stay current with your friends and be like, oh yeah, like me and Jesse are like tight dude, like yo, like yeah bitch. Anyways, you pharmaceutical reps, I can spot you a mile away. You got your Brooks Brothers metallic sheen skinny suit and your freaking um, Buster Browns on, you know what I mean? And oh, can I speak to Dr. So-and-so? I'm like, bro, you look like a salesperson. Don't look like a salesperson, just look like a regular kind of dude. Like, when you look like those gleamy salespeople, doctors go into defensive salespeople mode. Like, you look like the person you are. You don't, you wanna look like their friend, man. Like, get a suit that's like conservative, dress down, man. Like, you can go get laid on your own time, man. You can work. Like, if you have any game and confidence, you'll get girls. You don't need to try to pull girls and be like, oh, I'm a pharmaceutical rep. I have a company car and I have a suit that's really nice, but I got it on sale at Brooks Brothers on clearance. But how I digress. So anyways, we got this opened up. Now you got your same thing here. Since we really don't care about it, we could just bust them off. And uh, easy way to do that. Just twist it. Then you gotta get, it's all about fatigue, just like those previous ones. Um, metal fatigue. You gotta get that copper heated. When that copper gets heated, it's going to um, it's going to uh, get malleable. When it gets malleable, it's going to stretch. When it gets stretched and it's contained to a fixed surface and it gets malleable, you're going to heat that fissure up, excite those molecules, and they're going to get real excited and it's going to snap. Up. So then you got there. And the real pain in the ass on these things are deep, deep down inside. You can't really see, but you ah Jesus! Wow, see I'm a brilliant genius. Uh, I dropped my cigarette. You can't really see in there, but there's a deep, deep, uh, deep set screw they have that keeps your wire set. So um, when you're roughing these in, these wires don't recede into the wall, and you got a real shit storm. You got to bust open the wall and like fish it out. So of course we're gonna have the proper tools, but we do have a screwdriver that we just made. So. It's all about thinking on the fly. I didn't even know this, you know, I knew this had dog ears on it, but like now I can use that for my screwdriver. I can use the outlet in the box to take the box apart. Who else thinks like that? Nobody, because nobody's me. Everybody's like, oh, you're bad poor man, you need help, and I do. I went down to Mercy Behavior, got my dual diagnosis for relapse present prevention. And for bipolar mania, I'm going to group therapy where, you know, anybody who's anyone. I didn't minor in psychology because I was behind on credits, but Sales is psychology, you gotta get inside people's heads. So I took enough psychology and sat in on some graduate classes just because I could. And uh, I learned the ropes. So therapy's where the real magic is. Medication, that's just your pharmaceutical reps paying for your money so you can get your strippers on the weekends. Anyways, but yeah, I mean, you just need the right amount of medication. That works.